no smoking and stop your motor. Now the reason I started here in this old abandoned gas station is somebody hand painted that lettering and who knows how many years ago this is a metal awning cover which you just don't see like this anymore. Look how strong it is and it's probably a reason it's still standing. Anyways, this is a uh, abandoned gas station. <clears throat> Apparently had some kind of automotive repair as the building is really quite large. This is on the top of Montgomery Pass and it is next door to the burned casino and across the street from the abandoned lodge that we just walked through. This may be our fifth video up here on the top of Montgomery Pass. We are at elevation uh, 7200 feet. Now here in this, now that's interesting, that table right there is a roulette table. <clears throat> Sitting on that barrel is a hopper and I see a label on that slot machine cabinet that says Sercoma. I think it says Sercoma. Yeah, Sercoma. Now that is the company that Cy Red started before it turned into IGT, which of course we all know how big IGT is. Now this here, not to coin a phrase, but you are seeing this for the first time with me. We have hit the jackpot because this is where all the slot machines apparently were stored for the casino next door. So this was the warehouse. Even though it had uh, gas pumps in front of it, these are all all of the old slot machines. That was an old Kino one there with the two monitors used to have the pay table up top and you would uh, pick your numbers actually with a some kind of an electronic wand or pen if you may want to call it that and uh, so this must have been their shop here is a looks like about a five or six reel slot machine and uh, whole bunch more here on the ground. I know a little about slot machines, but not so much the early electronic stuff in the 80s. Now here were here were the gas pumps. This is where they stored the pumps, I guess, once they took it off the island. Yeah, this was their warehouse. I'm surprised as much stuff is in here as what we're seeing. But then again, these older slot machines, they don't really have a tremendous value the electric ones. Everybody wants the antiques. So in interesting. This is uh, all this stuff was untouched by fire and uh, that there my friends is a cigarette machine if I'm not mistaken. We're going to try and go around to the other side of it to see the front you can see what I'm having to walk over the top of here. It's a little uh, a little precarious for fancy footwork here. Now there, I know what that is. That is an early electromechanical ballet. And I would show you the serial number tag, but it's already been removed. It's usually on the left side down below there, but uh, some of you may remember those. I'll get a close-up of that coin entry. Who remembers putting coins in those? I certainly do. Yeah, that's a Bally Electromechanical. And as we make our way around here, I would imagine that there would be some interesting parts and pieces. We got a little detour here. Yeah, this was definitely their warehouse for parts and pieces. Unfortunately, it's a little dark, don't have a light, but who would think to bring a light in the middle of the day here, so... Anyways, let's get back to that cigarette machine, see if we can see the front of it. Here were some old school styles of shelving they used to build. Some craftsmen built those. 
All right, this slot machine, or pardon me, this cigarette machine is a Vendo, very popular, and uh, a 30 column. See the buttons there? 10, 10, and 10. Predominantly, the first 20 were regulars, and the last, the back ones were the uh, 100s. All right, here is the another small storage room, just full of uh, full of slot machines from the 80s. I don't think we can do much better because of the lighting. Here's the back door, which is missing. Pretty tough to get by there. I see a couple of vehicles out there. Not sure what they are. The red one there and. It's funny how they're both turned upside down. Who would, who would expend the energy? Now back there are more, I imagine, employee lodging of some kind. Those are all uh, derelict looking buildings. We're not going to bother going back there. It's pretty treacherous. But uh, we have several videos of across the street in similar buildings. So if you're interested in that kind of thing. Well, that concludes our day up on top of the Montgomery Pass on State Route 6 between uh, the 95 in Nevada and Bishop, California. Lots of interesting stuff here. I'm still amazed at how many slot machines are here. Unfortunately, most of them are gutted. They don't have much in them, but uh, I guarantee you there's something good here somewhere. There's a mechanism down there. I just can't quit looking. It, I'm sure it came out of this machine. No reels, but uh, Anyways, we're going to walk you back outside and uh, give you our last panoramic view. There's the buildings that are along the highway there. Maybe motels. There's the Tonopah sign. And across the street is, we're not sure, I think, it's, I think it was called the uh, Montgomery Pass Lodge, but I did see an El Dorado Lodge sign on the front of a uh, slot machine. There's another little place there. There's the motel we uh, went in. So five videos up top here in Montgomery Pass. Check them out. We appreciate you viewing and uh, any information guys we'd love to hear from. If you've passed by here, seen this place in operation or whatnot, let us know. Till next time guys, thanks for tuning in. Nevada Arcade out.